Hi, I'm Colleen from Miles to Row, and today I wanted to take you on a tour of our bookshelves. Um, we think that books are invaluable and we find them so important that we want each one to have a place in our home. And so um, I know that we have a lot, you may have a lot, and might be struggling with where to put them. Um, I know that that's a common concern when you're involved in a book club. Um, so I wanted to show you a few places that we store ours because we also receive the books that you get in your book boxes. So um, I think I'd like to go ahead and show you those few places. This is our slanted bookshelf. I bought this um, from Lakeshore Learning when I was a teacher um, because I thought it was so crucial in my classroom for children really to see the book covers um, and to see the books that are available to them. And of course we have typical bookshelves where the children see the spine, but this one is really special and that they can see what's available um, as they're looking at, you know, at the bookshelf. And so um, I really love this one. This is our bookshelf that's underneath our coffee table. And this one's primarily for the babies because of the location. It's low to the ground and they are often crawling or walking past it. They'll slide out this box, which was sent to us as a cheese, um, little cheese tray during the holidays. And um, they just really love it. They take out the books, they flip through them, they started to do flaps. Um, and so it's really fun to see them. It can be messy. Um, the books end up on the floor quite a bit, but we don't mind because they're showing interest in books and, and we know that the more interest that they're showing, the more uh, interest they'll have as they get older. And that's what we really want to do is build these readers from a young age. So it's really exciting for us. So this is another bookshelf. This is in their playroom. Um, and we use this one as kind of just a typical bookshelf. You can see that they're um, aligned um, straight up and down and typical where you can see the spine. Um, additionally, we have wooden toys on the other side and some puzzles for the children um, so they can really choose what they're interested in at the time. This is kind of our family bookshelf. Um, it's important for our children to see that we appreciate books as well and so we wanted to make sure that that was visible for them. So we have family uh, cookbooks as well as travel. We have novels and um, nonfiction titles and I think it's just really helpful for children to see that books are important to your family. And that's why we have them down here. Um, and then we have a couple bookshelves here. So the first is just here where we have, oops, sorry. We have um, just some typical titles that are kind of geared to our five uh, and three-year-olds. So our five-year-old can reach that easily. And then our three-year-old uses this step to kind of crawl up there. Um, and then here we have just typical titles, again, nonfiction and fiction, and just a variety of information for them to choose from. And uh, it's really fun to see them just sit here surrounded by books. It's really neat. Um, and then on the bottom shelf are all board books because again, we really wanna keep that level for the babies um, so that they're grabbing at books. And I will say that our bigger kids, our older children also love board books. So that's not to discriminate, but just to point out that it's nice for the babies to be able to grab it. And it's also nice for everyone to read it. Um, and then over here, we have some of our um, novels for when we read together, as well as for when the children are a little bit older and can read on their own. This is just one of my favorite series. Um, it's in German. We bought that when we were living in Switzerland. This is just a bucket to hold all the soft books that are a little bit trickier to get on a shelf, as well as here, these are smaller ones. Um, and then we use Ikea spice racks um, that we've attached to a lot of places in the house so that the children have access to books there as well. And so we just put them up, fill them with books, and the children come over and just grab them. So that's really nice. Here's another spot where we have um, board books and kind of an unexpected spot. So the children kind of see it sometimes and they think, oh, I haven't read that book in a while. Um, I attached milk crates with industrial Velcro uh, so that they wouldn't fall on the babies. And then I just put them on either side of the fireplace. That does not work. <laughs> Um, and then you can see we have some more of our uh, book, book spice racks. Our last bookshelf I wanted to show you um, are on our nightstands. 
and we kind of love these because they actually buy us a few minutes when the children rediscover them. Um, either when we're sleeping or if I'm working in here, um, the kids find them and then they sit and they just pull all the books out and read them. It's so great. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour today of all the books in our house, our bookshelves, and hopefully you got some ideas about things you can do in your own home. Thanks guys.